Do you find that lately luxury fashion houses have been issuing a lot of new styles that are super bold, very big logos, almost really too colorful? So in this video, I'm going to share with you five different brands that you will normally not really associate with low key, but I'm going to be sharing with you at least two different styles from each of these luxury houses. By the way, if this is the first time you're watching, hi, my name is Amy. I was tagged by my lovely friend here, Tabby Violet. She created this tag. If you're a classic girl who likes simple simple, monochromatic, simple classic designs. I got you, girl. For me, when I think of low-key bags, I think of monochromatic, simple shapes, and usually minimal logos. So that's how I associate low-key. I don't know what the definition of low-key for you is. I love Chanel bags. I'm sure if you follow my channel, you know that my collection has grown a lot in the Chanel department. Uh, and plus, I feel like I'm really more of a Chanel girl at heart. But their bags, although not loud, very recognizable because of the CC logo and the quilting. So it can be a bit challenging to find a low key bag from Chanel, but it's not impossible. Definitely my first pick would be the reissue with the distressed leather because on that bag, the turn lock itself is just a square lock, the Mademoiselle lock, and the chain is just a simple bijou chain. I say simple, but it just means that if you don't know the brand, then you may not recognize it. The second option from Chanel that I decided to show is actually the Gabrielle bag, which I do own a couple of. Now with the Gabrielle, yes, there are tons of chains, there are quilting, uh, but in terms of like the bag style itself, it just looks like a hobo. The only logo part that really shows sometimes uh, is the zipper pull. But a lot of times I feel like when I wear this bag, because I do wear this bag a lot, I do feel that it tends to just hang in there. So next, I want to talk about Louis Vuitton. Obviously, with heavy monogramming, it doesn't look low-key at all. It's very recognizable, it's very classic and beautiful, but I wouldn't recommend a canvas bag from Louis Vuitton. In fact, with Louis Vuitton, I will go with their leather line. And for me, the most low-key or the most simple classic, elegant looking leather is Epi leather. The two bags that I have in mind are the Neverfull as well as the Neo Noe. The Neo Noe is just a bucket bag with a detachable and adjustable strap. Very, very beautiful, very classic shape, bucket bags, you can never go wrong. As well as the Neverfull. Neverfull is just basically a tote. Not gonna say that the Epi leather version is gonna be comfortable because I don't know, but if you want low key, the AP version is definitely low key. The third fashion house I wanted to discuss is Dior, Christian Dior. Now, I had a bit of trouble finding items that are low key because a lot of their bags are either very loud with the monogramming. On the other hand, the leather bags are very recognizable, such as the Lady Dior. So I actually had to dig pretty deep and I had to find one bag from the ladies' department and one bag from the men's department. So for the ladies' department, the only bag that I can find that is kind of lower key is their book toad in full calf leather. Because I want to offer two options from each fashion house, I had to dig really deep. So the only other option that I found is in the men's department and it is their men's line briefcase, which is the silhouette itself is such a classic, you know, very appropriate to go to work with. Or there's also the molten backpack, which is made of a tech fabric and calf. And the price is actually really reasonable, 1400 US dollars. A lot of times the men's line is a lot less expensive, especially at Dior. Now with Fendi, the peekaboo is obviously a very classic looking design, but it's almost too obvious to talk about the Fendi peekaboo as being a classic design. So I decided to go with something different. I went with the bucket bag, obviously not in the monogram like mine, but they do have the plain versions in the plain monochromatic leathers. Another option from Fendi that is quite underrated is their By The Way Boston bag. It's actually a really pretty looking and very practical bag from what I hear. When I think Hermes, I almost feel like all their bags are low key in a way because they're pretty simple, they're always the same design, 
But obviously we're gonna avoid the Birkins and the Kellys and the Constants because those are way too obvious. They're too recognizable to be low-key to be very honest. So I would actually go for their garden party tote. If I didn't know that tote, I, I wouldn't think twice that it's an Hermes bag. Another option that I thought about is the Sac Rouli. The hardware in the front is really not that obvious. It's not like that big H logo on the Constance. Thank you so much babe Tabby for tagging me. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a great day. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.